bless America. Hello and welcome back to Nickel City X-Wing, everyone. My name is Greg, and this is X-Wing 2.5. Yet another Scramble the Transmission. Your bet is open now. This one's between Catherine and Lou. First Order versus Scum and Villainy. Catherine running the First Order Flying Hollow with Proud Tradition Pattern Analyzer and a Hull Upgrade. Commander Malaris with Proud Tradition Sensor Buoy Suite. Biohexacrypt codes, Agent Terex. Static with Proud Tradition, Fanatical, Pattern Analyzer. Scorch with Proud Tradition and Long Shot with Proud Tradition. Lou running Maul in the Gauntlet with Enduring, The Mandalorian, Lando Calrissian, IG-88D, The Child, Veteran Tail Gunner, Babu Frick, Drop Seat Bay, The Knight Brother title, and of course, Swivel Wing. Gamut Key with Hondo Onaka and Seismic Charges. Manaru with Expert Handling, Jamming Beam, Overtuned Modulators, and the Punishing One title with R5P8, Ahav, and Bosk with Marksmanship, Crack Shot, and a Hull Upgrade. Again, this is Ramble the transmission. Your betting is open, and you know what they say you never bet against Catherine. X Wing Tavern Wars, thank you so much for the 200 bits. Appreciate you joining us tonight. If we get three more subscribers for the end of this game, we'll give away a Grand Inquisitor medal. Alt art card. Let me see if I can find that. I can link it to you guys so you can see what it looks like. Heavy metal card. movie right always forget what series the Grand Inquisitor one is part of not five is it three there it is here is the card. Catherine setting up her threes. The objective placements would seem to favor Lou right out the gate. He's got four of them more in his area. Yep, Grand Inquisitor is going to be making his appearance in the Obi-Wan series. So I figured that'd be a nice little 100 subscriber giveaway. Boss going down, and I four. 
Lou has the initiative for setup. Pork, betting it on Lou. There is static. I think. Yep, static. Gauntlet will be placed now. Second big ass gauntlet of the night. <clears throat> Here's the G, Commander Mallers. Bombgrass, not typing that correctly. No period after the bet. It's hollow. I think Lou should be able to get a lead out the gate here. Will he be able to keep the lead is a different story. We are getting kind of a little bit of a Yorktown here. Wind all the way up. Civil War battle style. Revolutionary War style. Line battle style. We know Buddha hates that you call it Yorktown because Yorktown had a lot of encircling and trenching in and everything. But I feel like it's a battle that everyone knows. I don't really want to call it the Gettysburg. We're about ready to start setting dials. The setups take so long now. It's like a crazy amount of time setting up. Feel validated. feel seen. What about Trafalgar? Yeah, the Trafalgar. It's the Custard's last stand. I wish we gave Epic Games of X-Wing, like, like, names, you know? 
Wish we had like cool names for shit. Like does that quick draw over the rock thing that happened have a name? Like you have the Immaculate Reception, the Minnesota Miracle. Catherine betting on herself. Let's see if Lou matches. Sure does. <laughs> Lou matches the bet on Catherine, so it's rigged. Hashtag rigged, everyone. Hashtag absolutely rigged. about ready looks like all dials are set we can advance to turn one get that road on like that is going to Catherine for round one. We are starting system phase. No system phase. Get your bets in fast. Engagement usually happens in the first or second round. Long shot. What hard. So is Catherine just going to seed the ground on that bottom objective? Ahav and Gamut Key now. Four straight for Gamut. Going to go ahead and focus. Anaru, two forward. Anaru should grab the objective here. But won't. That's a mistake. One hard from static, and we'll claim. All right, Catherine's letting Lou just remembered that objectives are part of it. 
The gauntlet is aggressively large. Yeah, we were talking about that. How, like, aggressive it absolutely is. Catherine being nice. Letting Lou walk that back. Get the objective. Boss, 4-4. Four, four. Bowie compensating for his shorter than average torso. Bum, 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 bum. Malaris. Bum, 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 bum. Bodum, bodum. And Hollow. Going to boost around. All right, so it looks like neither of them are placing huge importance on the objectives right now. Maul. Ford should grab the objective. And will. Start of engagement. Catherine might be able to grab a lock from one of these buoys. Using the buoy. Gets a lock. On Maul. Or Manaru. Both are options. Lock Maul. Now Maul should get shots on the sensor buoys. You get, you can take shots on the buoys if you want. For some reason they can't fucking hear me. It's gonna be four on four buoys. Use a force from the child. You're getting it back anyway with the Mandalorian. Two beds. Big move, buoy. Manor. Change one. Manor can spare. No, for two. Four dice again from the buoy. Buoy takes two. That's a dead buoy. stacked up with five tours, but they're non-recurring with the child. He does get it back because of the Mandalorian. So, yay. I think you kind of almost need to put hate on this. Doesn't look like he had room with everything, but I don't even think you need IG-88D. I get why with the Lando combo, right? But I, I really think that you want hate to regen force. So that is going to be a two to one lead for Lou after one round. As we enter round two, Lou should be able to pick up two more objectives here for being honest with ourselves. Gamut can Hondo 
a focus over to Manaru. Jam Mall. Manaru can go forward. He focused. Ball can go forward, have a ton of force, and still grab the center obstacle without having to worry about it. Three bank from Boss should do it. I'll have three banking as well. This should be a four point swing or a four objective swing for Lou early on. Again, getting those four points early is just such a huge boost. Because then you only need to kill one, two ships. You know, it takes turns for your big ships to die. Multiple turns. Meanwhile, you're racking the points up. Catherine continues to be first player here. No system phase for anybody. Long shot, one hearted. Focus. Manaru. Move forward. Reach out for a claim. Gets it. Key. A Hondo here. A Jam Manor. Interesting. And a double coordinate, double calculates to they have out of range. Definitely get the claim here. Is the four to one lead for Lou and the objectives? Static. Focus. Porch one hard. Porch will barrel roll. All the way back. what Bosk does now. Oni, what's up? How are you? I think 
That's probably out of range. I almost wouldn't mind a red barrel roll here from Bosk and come in on the flank on long shot. And that is exactly what we're going to get here. And Malaris. Too hard, fits in like a glove. Coordinate. A barrel roll here to static. Last but not least for Catherine is hollow. Taking that three hard in and around. I think you barrel roll here with a strain and then boost in. ETF Chatch, what is up? You need a deplete to roll left. I don't know why you deplete. You definitely don't strain. You have no shots coming at you. I'm going to go for the target lock. Easily has. Manaru there. Last but not least is Maul. Two straight from Maul. If you think you got shots coming at you, I think I take the reinforce with the Mandalorian. reinforced just in case will provided the fan club all the details of your sultry weekend in Chicago <laughs> was it sultry Looks like we're gonna pause real fast. Will's got or Lou's gotta provide something for the baby. Guess we'll say that's okay. I don't know if the weekend was sultry. I believe I acted in the best interest of everyone. Even people who maybe are not acting in the best interest of themselves. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean though? Hey, hey, Chach, do you have a beanie? Did you get Did you get a beanie? Everyone's showing off their beanies. I have no beanie. I have no custom beanie. I should probably... Well, we haven't had shots, so I shouldn't close betting. Betting stays open until we get shots. You're doing fine, Greg. You don't have to worry about that. Guys, I regret to inform you that SAR has not responded, so it's looking like it's not real. America's favorite game show comes through again. No, oh, I don't want a trucker hat. I like beanies. I do like hats, but see, everyone does like, everyone does the trucker hat because it like fits a bunch of heads, but like fitted hats are the way. So we're ready to start again. Not responding is proof she's real. Oh God. You didn't need to murder me like that. Jesus Christ. God damn. Who is on one today? Do 
Nothing for Manaru to pass. Calling that guy Scooter an idiot. Not even an idiot, a fucking idiot. Just a fucking idiot. Velvet Iron Fist Buddha. Yeah, I'd like to report a murder. Dear Twitch, this has got to be... This has got to be a TOS, right? Hello, range three, two dice into three on mana. four and can spend one for a re-roll then one calculate there for a re-roll two re-rolls using Lando hit hit crit and that is gonna be hit Crit on long shot. And it's a direct on long shot. Long shot down to one. Long shot should have a reply. I don't think any of the other fours have a shot. Bosk? Oh, does have range, Bosk. Bosk does have marksmanship. But not getting anything there. Alright, in the mall, long shot gets that extra die. This is classic 3v3 action. For two. Going to Malaris reroll. And spend for three. Ball can spend to reroll two. I'm so confused why I spent a force for that, not to calculate. Maui says, I may not be a sandwich, but I know I'm a snack. Damn right, Maui. That's going to be the end of thing. And four points goes to Lou. One point for Catherine. Damn it. And check arc. And going to spend the 
charges to keep the tokens on ball. So calculate. That's why you didn't spend the calculate. That's why I spent the force because you get the force back from the child taking damage, and ball is gonna be loaded up. <clears throat> Long shot in a bad sitch. Six to two. As we enter turn three. Six to two for Lou. And unless Catherine gets some objectives pretty soon, this feels like it could run away real fast. reason for ball to move fast here probably just want to slow roll the real choice becomes on manaru you want to send manaru in towards hollow or keep manaru forward Gamut. I don't think you want to Hondo this turn. I think you probably want to focus rotate with Gamut. Get that arc forward, get another shot. Got Bosk and Ahav coming from the side. Good flanking positions here. Lou seems to be in control, but everything can change in a turn. You never know. Keep in mind, Maul could also stop. You Babu Frick. And still get actions. for the road roll here. Road it up. Rodendendra. And that goes to Lou for the first time. System phase. Do we have anything? Nothing. And who went forward? Probably just focus. Damn it. Love to see the focus rotate here. How did Monday go for you after Adepticon? Um, Monday was good. 
I mean, I got in, like, so I had to work Monday, right? So I got in Sunday night and, uh, you know, a little groggy at work. Tomorrow's new tattoo day. Let's go. Aha. Gonna take that focus. Long shot. Three forward, clears the strain. Barrel roll right. Bosk, three bank. That clips. So that can be a red focus, Bosk would like. And he would. Now, Scorch and Static. Scorch, gonna three bank. Take that focus. Static, five forward. Dak's gonna roll for the that converts it. Mall stops and is gonna spend a Babu Frick charge to take the stress onto Babu Frick, which is gonna give Maul actions he can either Convert that middle one back. Or double calc again. Options wide open. It looks like he's going to go try to convert the objective again. And gets it. Hollow and the G shuttle now. Two bank for Malars. Is in decent coordinate yes. range okay. here. Look at us. Look at us. Huh? Who would have thought? Not me. Thought? Not me. straight from hollow honestly I think I strain again I think I'm in desperation mode I think I strain and then focus and try to put it into Manaru here I'm all in on Manaru here because I know I'm losing four points again and I'm halfway to defeat so you gotta roll the dice a little bit here. Strain for the lock. And a focus. Yep. Exactly what I think you gotta do. You likely got an obstructed shot in, so you get that dice back. Yeah, I think the Grand Inquisitor one looks really good. Plus, since he's gonna be appearing in Kenobi, very relevant. Is not gonna throw the thing over. No star engagement shenanigans.
Hollow. We'll have to pass that strain over. Could pass the focus if we wanted to. Gonna pass the strain. I think that's probably the right choice. Valor's gonna hand out a Terex calculate. I think I might give that to Static again. We could give it to Longshot, try and help Longshot live. But I think you need to be all in right now. All should get the first shot here. Uh, this scenario is scramble the transmission. Scramble the transmission. Oh, well, thinking about shooting. All right, gonna go into static. 4v2. I get it. It's just got a long shot. Getting a ship off the board so good these days. And you can spend the calculate to reroll two. And two fours. Four hits. If these are blanks, that's it. But they're two evades. Hollow and then Malaris. Hollow, range one in the mana room. Everything you could ever want in this shot here. Double modified, range one from Hollow. Who needs double mods? Not me. Hit, 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 crit. And it's all going in. Hit, 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 crit. And the crit is a disabled power regulator. So that'll take effect next turn. They'll be ionized, but gain one this turn. Odds are for the weak. Scroll nannies. Amen. Amen, brother. Mallers before engage can sensor buoy sweet get a lock. Hollow Manaru or Gamut chooses Manor. Range two shot. Again, if this is the blank, you have to take the strain. You have to. You're not allowed to not. And I have to strain to Malaris one of these blanks. The good news is you get to see if that's a hit before you spend a lock. No point in spending a lock, right? Oh, okay. You do have a focus, so maybe uh, you spend the lock on the other one. And the focus for two. There it is. Two hits into Manaru. Manaru rolling two. Manaru can spend a focus to take one. I think you keep it, to be honest. I don't care about Manaru. Four points. You're getting That's one turn for you. I don't think I'd give a shit about Manaru for being real. I'd rather keep it for the offense and try to kill Static. Who's three points. Like, that's a one-point swing to keep your four points. Manaru gonna spend, take one. There's some valor in defense, I suppose, but... Yeah, I think... I think you let Manaru die. You don't care. Bosk. He 
Either send everything into static or shoot long shot. I'm gonna go into scorch. I don't understand. Why split all your fire? In marksmanship, at least. Hit crit. And Scorch is going to have to spend or take two, so you definitely spend. That's... Oh, and then a crack shot and the split of the crit selects two on Scorch no matter what. So the crack shot on Bosk is spent, but getting the most out of that ability. All right, let's go to the fours, the FOs. Static into Manaru. Three dice. And we'll have to Malaris. Oh, got a Malaris for the Manaru shot back, thanks. Pays off though, two hits. Manaru takes two. Down to one. Torch has boss range two, a have range one. Range one and Ahab taking the stress to roll that extra. Four V three. For two, we'll have to Malaris reroll. Malaris rerolls coming through three hits. That could just straight up kill Ahab. But it ain't gonna. Again, I think I take this. Got a strange scorch, chance to kill. And Ahab does take one. I am, with objective scoring so many points and games not lasting as long, I have become fully in tune with like just taking damage. Static range one strained four B two one. Calculate for defense, no mods otherwise. Only one. Benzie R5 P8, nothing. And it's evaded. Static lives. They have Gamut. Gamut key. Take your shot, Gamut. Downtown 2v4. Hollow obstructed, why? Hit crit in the hollow. Three evades. Ahav, into Scorch, range 1, 3v3, or sorry, 3v2 because of the strain, two hits, so 
one, but Scorch lives. Long shot. No one range three, but can pour into a half. Range one with three dice. Hit, hit, crit. Wow. And Ahab's gonna die. Two points for Catherine there. Again, the inability to focus fire and get ships off the board costing there. That'll be four more points for Lou. And one for Catherine. That is going to be 10 to five. So 10 to 5, we're going to enter turn 4 here, about 44 minutes in. could say he's a force to be reckoned with. I guess you could. I guess you could. Checking the status of my bets here. Turn four, Lou currently has control of four objective points.
about ready here. Looks like overtuned modulators being charged in system phase here. Manor room. Hondo coordinate and jam. Long shot. Long shot's going to try to flip one of these objectives. Gets it. Oh yeah, yeah, you're, you're not going to Tom McCann or... like Wagner. Wagner. The proud tradition, Red Stress. Torch too hard. All can stop again. All gonna stop, and you can rotate here. Absolutely rotate, and I absolutely would. You should get a ship off the board this turn. You gotta almost. You almost have to do it. 
If you rotate, you can also double tap with veteran turret gunner. Rotate. I'm begging you. I'm begging you to rotate. I'm asking so nicely for you to rotate. Please. You go left or right, it doesn't matter. I think, actually, you know what? I think I go left. I think I go left, because that's going to let me clear stress. Claim that objective. Yeah, exactly. This is exactly what I'm thinking. Pivot, Lou. Pivot. 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 Right. Let's see what Mallers and Hollow Hollow have up there. Mallers, one bank takes the bump. And red focus. I almost think you don't. Nothing's really shooting you. Why limit yourself here? Hollow, the one hard. Hollow should be able to finish off Manaru. And you can probably barrel roll, train to barrel roll out of a shot from Gamut. See how much force. I mean, there's still four force on Maul. Should be more than enough to get these two kills. Scorch down to one, long shot down to one, and static at two. almost a perfect turret for anyone below initiative five he's gonna shoot you if he wants to you literally cannot avoid his arc if he dials and stop that's correct lock in on manor and the action is going to be a claim and gets it to turn Catherine now has the objective advantage. Manaru, start of engagement is going to throw everything over the mall. So Manaru has been sacrificed to the gods to give Maul the best chance at killing people. Oh, wait, no. Is that even... Oh, it's zero to one. There's no way. Yeah, the Iron Man, welcome in. Yeah, so not a pass. Zero pass. No pass. You're wrong. Maul does have 4-4 four, four still, but you can't spend the green token. See, that was supposed to get Lando re-rolls on everything. 
Hollow will have to pass Hollow Strain. Gonna go ahead and give it to Malaris. Smart. Smart, smart, smart. And the last calculate is gonna go to Hollow from Terex. Darth Maul, range one in to Scorch. Honestly, I would spend my reinforced token for rear rolls on this if it's a bad roll. Scorch, range one, four dice. Spend the reinforce. It's a green token. Gotta do it. Spend the reinforce. Lou, it's a green token, Lou. All right. Veteran turret gunner shot out the back. Into static, three dice. The reinforces green low. It's a green token. Doesn't matter though. You get the one kill at least. Static is initiative killed. That could have been the double. Killing me. Folks, the reinforce is a green token. It can be spent like green tokens would. Hollow going for the kill on Manaru. I have to assume range one. Manaru is every token under the sun, but not enough dice to prevent this. We get three hits from Hollow. Spends. Gonna have to Malaris reroll this blank. But it's already a guaranteed kill. Three hits. Manaru, a cursory blank out. Manaru dies. That draws Catherine within four. Malaris will use sensor buoy to get a lock onto Gamut. Two hits. Damn it, blanks. Shields down. Range three. That's going to be a shield on hollow. And Scorch, who absolutely should just not be alive.
Range one in a mall. Only one green. And the disrespectful evade. And gamut now. Shield on hollow. Long shot, nothing. That's going to be two points for Lou and three for Catherine. So it's 15 to 12. Fifteen to twelve for Lou. We enter turn five. I think the big mistake here was not spending that reinforce as a green token. Honestly, if you get static off, this is entirely or sorry, scorch off there. This is an entirely different game. It's eighteen to twelve. Uh, yeah, I just don't. I feel like Catherine is in a reasonably decent spot. And you still have to worry about the mall shots. Remember, you can use force at range zero. You gotta be wary of that. But she should be in position to at least cap four objectives this round. I don't know if you can get that top right one, but Scorch or Longshot should be able to get the bottom right one in front of that asteroid, in front of the mustache, right to the left there. Bosk maybe can come in and claim the middle.
I think the scenario points pile up too fast in pretty much all of them, if we're being real. Desi! Thank you so much for the sub. Frick, all the stress gets put into more. Long shot. Gonna sloop. Tradition focus. Damn it. Good jam hollow. But you could also take that centerpiece. Gosh, that would be real nice, wouldn't it? Gonna coordinate Malaris, Jam Hollow. Scorch, too hard. And gonna go for the objective. Gets it. That's going to be a four objective pointer there for Catherine. Lost one banking. I'm going to try and claim the middle. Gets it. Yeah, Catherine can pull this comeback off. Would be the first comeback we've seen. Although, I feel like a lot of it's due to missed triggers, but you know, it's whatever. It happens, it counts. Lifts it back. Mallers. Hollow. Bumps. Mallers. No damage. Gosh, that would have been real nice. Get Hollow take a damage there. Stress still doesn't have an action. 
Hey, Twitchy, no worries. Thanks for hanging out. Got the seismic laid out here. And that does catch hollow. Hollow down to two. For what it's worth, the buoy also takes one. But those have two health. Let them go. Oh, did Malice get a jam? Hollow passed it. Yeah. Hollow passed the jam. Hollow does. Gamut key, range one. Not all the realm for this to be a kill. No. Gonna have to Malice on yourself there. get any better. Nothing there. Hollow. Still three force on Maul. Hollow going range one into gamut now. After Mallers. One crit. But Gamut can't find an evade. I don't. Has Lou rolled any evades? I haven't. Console fire on Gamut. Range one into Scorch. You need it. Lou's begging you. Please. Three hits. That is a dead Scorch. Three points to Lou. Boss, you gotta go into hollow, right? Range two into a strained hollow, 2v2. You need a crit. Can I find one? One hit. Only one hit. Hollow. Rolling two. That's only for tournaments, gambler. That's just part of the tournament regulations. That's not part of regular. Long shot gonna take the long shot into gamut. Links. Damn it. It's a console fire roll. Takes it. Damn it down to one. 
into the long shot. This game isn't over, guys. The timer is just for my own edification. The 12 round game. That is four points to Catherine. One for Lou. 16. Did I miss? Where, where am I missing the three points for Lou? The games, the games are 12 rounds. I'm just keeping track of how long those rounds go. Catch, see you later. Score she's dead. Oh yeah, probably should do that. All right, going into round six. Thank you everybody. for America's favorite game show is Greg's Tinder Match Real. This one's name is Luxi. L-U-X-I. Age 30, six miles away, no profile, one picture. Passions, secondhand apparel, tea, board games, hiking, yoga. Is Greg's Tinder Match Real? Cheesy Gordita Crunch is superior. Yes, it is. Cheesy Gordita Crunch is where it's at. Probably need to eat a little bit more today.
Here's the road roll. Catherine entering round six. I got that. Yep. There is a plasma drop. Jam. Guys, who voted yes on if this tinder matches? This is so clearly not real. Luxie? With no profile? Come on, guys. You gotta get better at this. Long shot. Our tradition focus. Gamut's gonna have to roll. This could be the kill. It is. Gamut dies. Three points to Catherine. Not to hit. Now 1919, and that might have done it for Catherine. Some of you may die, but it's a sacrifice I am willing to make. Bosk turning with the case. question we know nothing about their language their history or what they look like but we can assume this they stand for everything we don't stand for Long shot dies, it's a tie. <clears throat> Terex action, just gonna throw the jam on them all. Gamut died by hitting his own ship. So this could be our first comeback, but it's a comeback done by a lot of unforced errors. That's okay. 4K there. Hollow has proud tradition pattern analyzer, so. All I can do a fair amount of stuff here. Pattern Analyzer Evade, and a Proud Tradition Focus. And Maul. 
bump. Should two You should red focus here, I think, because the game's ending this turn one way or another. Oh so, like, the red focus would just get jammed off, so there's no point. Malice is going to take one. Malice could literally care less. Oh, passes the stress to Malice. Hollow, range three in the Bosk. get the kill. It doesn't matter at all. <clears throat> Mallers, range two. Two V one. zero into long shot. Remember, force can be used to modify at range zero. Oh, and long shot gets all paint. Clutch dice. That's it. Catherine will get the W. Hit crit. I mean, I guess Boss could. I mean, sure. Sure, Boss could do it. I guess. Boss, range three on the hollow. You would need the crit to go through. You need hit crit or crit crit. And then all blanks. I don't like force mods at range zero either. Is one crit, but the evade token guarantees the no damage. You needed the hit crit. Wasn't we got there anyway. That is it. Four points to Catherine. And one, two, Lou. 23-20 is our game. Six rounds. 92 minutes. Twenty-three points for Catherine. Fourteen scenario. Nine. Lou Ford. I think what actually cost you the game. I'm not a hundred percent. I think what cost you the game was not spending your reinforced token for the re-rolls on Scorch. And that. Nah. 
It just says spend a green token. Yeah, I mean you'll get you get more used to it once you it has a lot of shenanigans going on. Yeah, there's nothing in the rule book about it ending at time. The tournament regulations are the random time thing. I just keep time because I'm trying to track how long these games are. Like, that's a six-round game.